we're out of gas. Well, that's all right. We still have our gas rationing card. We gas back. rationing card? Why, a C card wouldn't help us here. You, you don't have to lose your temper. I'm sorry. I... You are sorry. You are sorry about that redhead in the auto court. You are sorry about that waitress in the barbecue stand. I suppose you are sorry about talking me into taking this road instead of the main road. Well, I'm sorry that I'm sorry, but if you're sorry, you can't help being sorry. No, oh, get out of here. Maybe someday you'll be sorry. A thousand miles from nowhere. Well, here's another nice mess you've gotten me into. And don't say you're sorry. Worried, aren't you? Are you? Well, it must be 115 in the shade. How about a drink of water? That's a good idea. I'll go right now. Okay. Move oh, oh. see the back end of a truck. That's no truck, that's me. The back end of a truck. I'm sorry. I... Ollie! What? I see a gas station. Where? Right in here, see? Look, it's right in there, see it? Uh... Give me that. Stanley, we're saved. Well, how are we going to get this thing over there? You see, we well, can't... that's simple. One of us will push and the other will steer. I never thought of that. Well, hey, what? Not too fast. I won't. When you start pushing, don't push over 35 miles an hour. All right, let's go. Hey, Ollie. What? Do you mind if I stop a minute? All right. Okay, Ollie, I'm ready. Well, it's about time. What would you have done if I hadn't had presence of mind enough to have you push me? I hadn't the slightest idea. I guess the only thing I could have done, if I'd have gone to the gas station... Who's I'd pushing have... this thing? Oh, I forgot to tell you. See, I borrowed a mule down the road. You remember when we stopped? Well, I guess a mule's as good as a donkey any day. It certainly is. You're absolutely... What do you mean, as good as... <clears throat> Get out and find the attendant. I'm sorry, Ollie. Sorry for what? Closed for the duration. Now what are we going to do? Hey, there's a car coming. Let's flag him down. Yeah, maybe we can borrow some gas.
Look, here's a, here's a truck coming. Oh, no, it's no use. They won't stop for us in this desert. Say, why don't you lie down and pretend you fainted? Then his bad will stop. He wouldn't let anybody faint on a desert. At last, you're using your brain. Hurry up and faint. He's getting closer. All right. Yeah. Mister, could you spare us a gallon of gas? A gallon? What are you trying to do, wean this thing? <laughs> well, you see, we made a slight miscalculation in regards to our supply. Yeah, he means we ran out of gas, didn't you? Yes. yes. Well, gentlemen, the right man just came along. You're facing Chester Wright, the inventor of the little wonder gas pill, the answer to the rationing problem. This is the ten-gallon size, this is the five-gallon size. And this, gentlemen, is a gallon can of water. Sample it, if you please. <laughs> Sorry. It's water, all right. And now, gentlemen, you're going to see a demonstration of the eighth wonder of the world. I'm going to take some of these pellets and place them in the can of water you just sampled. Um, open your gas tank. Oh, yes, sure. Sure. Sorry. Gasoline. Just pour it into your tank, gentlemen. Now, step on the starter. Mister, you have saved us from an untimely end. Yes, sir, we might have died. <laughs> How much do we owe you? Oh, forget it, my friends. Just regard it as a little courtesy of the road. Thank you. Thank you very much. Laurel and Hardy, the original Zoot Suit Band. Well, we are one of the wonders of the age ourselves. The only two-man band in the world, equal to Glenn Miller, Harry James, and Spike Jones. Well, we might get together. I was on my way to Washington to hand these over to the government, but uh, we might pick up a few bucks on the way. You mean make some money? Sure, we could make a lot of dough together. How, Mr. Wright? Well, there's a little carnival troupe opening up tomorrow in Midvale, just a few miles from here. We can get a location, and with your band to attract the crowd, we can trim. <laughs> I mean, we can sell every sucker. <laughs> I mean, every person in town. What do you say, fellas? 50-50? Well, we could use some money. OK, fellas, see you in Midvale. Goodbye. 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 Well, all of our troubles are over, Stanley. Yes, sir. And, and we won't need this ration book anymore, will we? Not as long as there's water. That's just what I thought. <laughs> so the quicker we get to the town, we'll have... <laughs>
next, we're going to spread a load of jam.